Hey guys, I haven't made a video in five days. And a rant about Fallout 2 seems to be the way to come back. I just saw it about 10 minutes ago or something on um, the MovieZR.com. Check it out if you want to. It's not MovieZR, like I thought it was. It is Movie Z, or Movies, if you want to say that. R. Movie zero zero is what I call it. Dot com. You can check out the Wolverine, which I was going to check out, but um, you have to download it. And I don't like the download, so. But I will be seeing the Great Gatsby and the Lone Ranger and Forty Two and stuff like that on there. But by the way, the Lone Ranger review will be tomorrow. I hope. I believe tomorrow. There, there, there's a lot of I see. So um, yeah. Grown Ups 2 is the sequel to Grown Ups, one of my biggest guilty pleasures of all time. But yeah, that's all I can really say about it. Yeah, and um, it stars um, Adam Sandler, David Spade, Chris Rock, Kevin James, Nick Swartzen, and um, who'd I forget? Who did I forget? Forget somebody? I don't know. Uh, did I? I think I got everyone, didn't I? With Chris Rock, Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Nick Swartzen. I don't know if I forgot. I know I forgot David Spade, as I said. I don't know who I forgot the guy's name. Is. And I don't know. So yeah, uh, and Taylor Lautner, Sam and Boys, China and McQueen. I know, I know, I know. And I said Taylor Lautner, didn't I? Taylor Lautner, of course. I should say. I think I said. And yeah, it's about summer. Their one day in their life, last day of um school basically going into summer second bad movie of the summer that ha well about the second movie that takes place in summer that is it seemed to be familiar with the first one that was very disappointing in my opinion so I had high expectations for that one for some reason and I had high expectations for this one too but this one fell in miserably Miserably, but I will say it's this and Teen Beach movie are actually kind of on the same level. Even though I, I'd say this is worse than Teen Beach movie in a way. If that makes sense, it's like there's gonna be a lot changed on my um, top ten thing on Letterboxd. There is a lot changed right now. Texas Chainsaw at my least favorite movie of the year right now. I want to go check out my top tens until September the 15th? Yeah, better go now before September the 15th in more than a month. But yeah, I might watch the first round of Pines again. I don't know. I'm not saying I'll. I don't know. Um, so, anyways. So, yeah. Let's just start with some good things I have. So, two jokes that were fun. <laughs> That's uh, one of my only. That's pretty much it. Wow, I'm gonna still gonna get credit for it though. And I will say, they're entertaining scenes, so I'll give credit for those. But that's it. This is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. I gotta be honest. I got to be honest. It's one of the worst movies I've seen this year. It's boring, slow, boring. I know I just said that, but still. It's badly directed, it's badly written. Uh, well, actually, the acting was, was good too, and the chemistry was good. But that's it. That's all I'm going to give credit for. And I'm going to give a pretty low grade. You'd be surprised how low of a grade I'm going to give this movie. Um, but yeah, uh, as I said, bad, uh, bad um, writing, bad direction. Uh, um, yeah. So boring, slow, so slow, it feels like two and a half hours. It should not feel like two and a half hours. It's 
to do like an hour and 40 minutes like it is. <sighs> Gosh, one of the biggest disappointments of the whole year, to be honest. Maybe I should have won with low expectations. Most people who win with low expectations actually came out very surprised. Well, a lot of people that is. Well, people. Put that way. I know a lot of you all actually kind of enjoy this movie. I just don't. It's my opinion. Don't um, not spilling on my opinion. It's just my opinion. If you didn't like the movie, wait, get the real. But yeah, as I said, um, there's so many racist and gay jokes that are so bad. There's so many childish jokes. Why so many childish jokes? Gosh. So bad. I'm surprised I'm not thinking about it. Eh. Going to what the frick, Phil, as, as I'll call it. What the crap just happened? What did I watch? What the frick? Gosh. Anyways. Sorry. Anyways. So, yeah. There's so many gay and racist jokes I didn't like. It just Poorly written down to zero. Poor, except for those two jokes that were actually funny. Well, kind of funny. And then, um, yeah, the CGI was extremely bad too. They used CGI a couple times, and that was very bad of what they used. saying uh, bad movie man just bad as I said it's directed poorly there's so many shots in this movie it's like they'll pan one shot one second then another another second it just takes longer to make when you do that they can use a lot less time putting all this you know even though I as I said it lets chemistry between these guys and uh, the acting was good good by most people um, and, um, yeah, they had two funny jokes, but that doesn't really give much of the grade at all. It doesn't really boost it at all. Just by a little, just by a little bit. You'll see what my grade is at the end. I'm almost done, actually. But, yeah, it's so boring. I just like the first one when they, they killed him. It was so funny. I really love that movie. Well, pretty much. I mean, I really like it. I give it like a B plus or an A minus. Very good movie. But this, they they also try to give you forced emotion, which you don't feel at all, of course. Comedies you never feel the emotion, and it's so predictable. It's so dumb. I don't get it. Why is someone all predictable and dumb? You could tell I didn't like this movie, and you know, almost at all. But um. So I'm gonna give Grown Ups 2 a D minus. I really didn't like it. So yeah, that's my review of Grown Ups 2. If you like this movie, say why. I guess. I mean, I don't mind you liking it. I know. I know Roddy liked it. My friend on here, lots of reviews. Link to his channel in the About tab, and link to my other channel in the About tab. I I made two videos over there a couple days ago. If you want to go check the, that out, that's on my video game channel, of course. But yeah, about tab, <coughs> about tab, I gave you like four or five links for different things. But Adam Haskell's channel, I got, I got his one, you know, about tab too. It might not work. I mean, I've been trying it. Just sometimes it doesn't respond, so it might not respond. But still, anyways. So yeah, bad movie. Grown Ups Two, bad. So six around for my reviews of the Lone Ranger and um I'm sorry the Lone Ranger review is late but yeah the Lone Ranger, the Lone Ranger I really don't want to get to see Wolverine but I might not and uh, maybe this Saturday the way way back Smurfs 2 or um Monster University if it's still safe 
I got a Monster University shirt um, up there that I just got today for three bucks. Not bad. It's a Uzba Kappa shirt. And um, it's going on its fifth week here, so. Yeah, I might not be able to review it, but the heat I might review as well. I'll, I might review the heat, I don't know. Because, um. Well, I'm not going to really say why, but, um, I might not review the heat. I don't know, I might. I might add. Might. I don't know, for heaven's sakes. But, yeah. By the way, Fruitvale Station, I really want to see it, but no one wants to take me to it, so I'm going to be left without seeing that for a while. By the way, I'm also going to be seeing Mud and Oblivion on that site, so go check out that. That's something positive I can say out of this review. We're going up to two. Huge disappointment. One of the most disappointing movies of the year. So, that is my review slash rant. We're going up to two. I'm tired of talking about this movie, so... Stick around for my Lone Ranger review, that probably won't be any good either, but this 